A lot of people telling me I gotta check out this new Galaxy projector with a twist, you might say. Oh, wait, 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 what? Oh, hold on a second. Ah, it's pretty cool. Oh, this is another video. Astronaut star projector. <laughs> like, the idea to put one of these galaxy star projectors in an astronaut's body really adds to the appeal to it, the sort of kitschiness to it. I don't, I'm, I'm like super curious though if it's like a quality star projector or not, because it is pretty on the lower end of the spectrum for pricing when it comes to a Galaxy Star Projector. You know, just really quickly why I personally love Galaxy Star Projectors is get the thing, you set it up, plug it in, point it, boom, you're done. You got a magical space. An extremely cost-effective way to totally transform a space, bring some ambiance to it. Party time light! This is ex exactly what my parties look like. <laughs> it's like just Christmas time being pointed at their white walls. Whoa, look at the stars! It's so amazing! I know I'm making fun of it, but secretly, like, I love, I love this shit sh personally too. You know, we'll, we'll compare it to the Galaxy Projector 2.0, the current king of the galaxy, the laser star projectors, in, in my opinion, based on my tests. But uh, let's see if this fun one holds up. And here it is now, you know, strategically wearing my astronaut themed t-shirt. Check out in the description below, space themed tees and apparel by Into the AM brand. They make some awesome, awesome t-shirts. Let's get into this. Remote, you know, I wish all the Galaxy projectors came with a remote. Whoa, look at this, look at this guy. Look at him. Oh, it's a magnet. Well, I love magnets. I'm guessing all of the Galaxy Star Projector uh, components are within the dude's head. That magnet's onto the body. The power pack on his back has our buttons here. The buttons reading nebula, on, off, or stars. It also comes with a base, a little lunar base landing for the shoes. Oh, the, the, the arms move too. You know, they said, let's, let's take the Star Projector and let's actually make it into something cool to maybe put on a shelf. It comes with a USB to power adapter, like AC adapter, into his little backpack. It makes it really great because you can now point this anywhere. So that's actually really well thought out, well designed. The laser stars actually come out of here and our nebula projection comes out of the lens in the middle. Okay, you can see I'm pointing it. The stars are all on now. So my first impressions, this thing looks pretty awesome. Okay, so I've gone ahead and shut off all the lights in my studio now so we can actually see what this Galaxy projector can do. By default, the projector cycles through all of its different color modes, which is pretty neat. So I'm walking over to where the projector is situated right now. You can see I have it in the corner of my room and this is where it is projecting from onto the ceiling. You can see how the head is kind of angled up and that's really, I do like that design of this sort of spherical head, which makes it really easy to aim your projection. One thing I really do like is the laser star projection has the widest surface area coverage I've seen. The stars are very spread out and cover my entire space, walls included. It's pretty impressive. The real question though is how does this Galaxy Star Projector stack up when we compare it against our current top tier laser star projector, the Galaxy Projector 2.0, which came out on top in terms of the technical tests that I conducted in my last star projector comparison video. So let's jump in. You can see I have both star projectors side by side pointed at the ceiling and we'll take a look at the results now. Starting with the magenta color, that is the red and blue LED lights of the nebula at full power, projecting together in harmony. This is what it looks like on the astronaut projector. And if we flip to the Galaxy Projector 2.0, a few things become apparent right off the bat. First of all, the laser stars in the Galaxy Projector 2.0, they also rotate or they can be set to static. Whereas in the astronaut projector, we only have the option of fading the laser stars in or out. And of course, the nebula LED projection is much more powerful, much brighter 
in the Galaxy Projector 2.0. If we flip to the full white setting, that is where the red, green, and blue nebula projections are maxed out. We can really start to see the brightness differences. Here I have our RGB waveform monitor on screen. And if we flip to the Galaxy Projector 2.0, you can really see how much more power this thing is putting out in the nebula projection. On the chart there, you can see the triangles are much, much fuller, much bigger, much taller reaching, representing you know, greater, more fuller, more brighter color. And we can really, really start to see this becoming apparent in this particular side-by-side -side comparison view here where we're projecting everything at max. Of course, our Galaxy Projector 2.0, it is a more premium, more expensive Galaxy Star Projector. Both of these products are listed in the description below if you wanna check out current pricing and deals. A couple last considerations I should mention while I was testing the astronaut projector is that the LED nebula projection that you're seeing on screen now, that is the different sort of cloud colors, it's a bit jumpy. The rotation is not perfectly smooth. You can see it just did it there where it sort of like moves, the whole projection moves or like glitches around I don't know if this is just an isolated issue with my copy or if all the astronaut projectors have this issue, but essentially the moving nebula animation does seem to jump around when rotating every so often. You can somewhat reduce this by slowing down the speed of rotation. It's honestly not a huge deal, but if you do care about these sorts of things, it is something to consider if you're looking to purchase a Galaxy Star projector. Whereas with the Galaxy Projector 2.0, the rotation is completely smooth, seamless, no issues there. Last thing I should mention is the astronaut projector does emit a tiny bit of noise. It is not completely silent. Whereas our Galaxy Projector 2.0 is a completely silent unit and does not emit any noise when in use. Alrighty, let's jump in and actually rate our astronaut star projector, see how it stacks up. So for wow factor and imagination, yes, I think this is a really cool piece. Conversation starter, leave it on your shelf. Conceptually, great idea to put a star projector inside of an astronaut figurine body. So it kind of serves two purposes. Very cool. We're gonna give it a 16 out of 20 for wow factor and imagination. All right, so moving on to functionality. How well does it do the things it's intended to do? So a few notes here, the projector itself, fairly functional. I do like the fact that it does come with a remote and of course the different color modes. Although I do gotta dock a few points as we've seen the nebula projection isn't exactly perfect. It does tend to skip a little bit and it does tend to emit a tiny bit of noise. It's also of course not the most powerful nebula projection when we compare it to our Galaxy Projector 2.0. So it's gonna land a 15 out of 20 for functionality. All right, moving into build quality. That is the assembly, materials, and overall physical finish. So the astronaut figurine, it does have a bit of a plasticky feel to it. Like the shoes don't really snap into that moon base. It's about what you would expect for the price you're paying. So for build quality, it'll score a 14 out of 20. All right, moving into practicality and usability. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you know, Galaxy Star Projectors, in and of themselves, they're quite a practical, functional device for creating a sense of mood or ambiance with really minimal effort. In this particular star projector, there could be a few more features, but it will score a generous 17 out of 20. So pretty good overall, which brings us into our final category, value for money. So what took me by surprise is the price of this star projector was on the relatively lower end of what you would find for a quality star projector, which is what sort of piqued my interest to begin with. It's actually gonna score a 16 out of 20, a very reasonable score. I think it's a reasonable price to pay. Bringing this piece to a final score of 78 out of 100. Pretty decent score. If you do like this star projector, here's my recommendation. Just use it for the stars, the coverage of the stars. Turn off the nebula. That way you get the benefits of what this thing does well, which is really throws the stars all over the room. And they are a pretty randomized star pattern. By shutting off the nebula, you're making it silent. 
So if you then pair this with another star projector, let's say with the Galaxy Projector 2.0, you're now creating a really cool effect by combining the two into sort of an ultimate star projector. So there's a great thought. And if you are on the hunt, I do urge you to check out the version 2.0 of my star projector comparison. That'll go through three of the top smart star projectors you can buy on the market today. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. <laughs>